and for this year, who are you looking for to step up to take the leadership? I mean, you, how's uh, Concock and Apletis going to be playing? Is he going to be playing more or less, or well, uh, what Con is he committed to? Well, I've actually given Con the captaincy this year because I want him to be more committed to the team. Um, uh, he is 38 this year, so um, you know he, he's running. Well, not saying he's running out of time, but he's, he's still an absolute standout. Yeah, there's no yeah. doubt, and I think. Uh, just having him in the team, a lot of the younger players um, will, will definitely learn a lot from him. Um, so the value that he'll add there straight away is, is, is fantastic. You've got Sammy, Sammy Bowden, Bowden as well. Uh, uh, Sammy Bowden is uh, the first person I ever put on a team sheet. Mm. Um, he's, he's never, ever, is, he, while I'm a coach there, while he's fit, he will always be in the team, regardless because the guy gives 110%. Mm. He doesn't know how to do anything differently. So for me, um, absolute. You know, fantastic having Sammy in the team, who, who did consider retiring at the end of last year, same as myself, but um, my persuasive powers got him to come back and do, have another season, another career. Wouldn't cricket. have anything to do with you being coach, would it? Oh, well, you know, I'd like to think so. <laughs> you'd, you'd hope so. <laughs> oh, look, and of course, as I said, Craig Evans, you'd be hoping for big things from him as well. All of the youngsters, um, the attitude has been, has been fantastic during pre-season. Uh, I've really tried to be motivating the lads quite a bit and start to get them believe in themselves, get some confidence in themselves. Um, you know, the thing has been in the past they haven't had confidence in their own ability and they haven't had confidence in their teammates either. So now they're, they're getting that and you actually can see the confidence in their passing. They're actually, you know, I think in the past it was almost, well, do I pass to him? He's going to lose it. You know, yeah. Pump it long. Safety. Um, so I think I'm, I've been really happy with the younger guys in particular. The way they've responded to me um, uh, has been, you know, I can't ask for anything more at this stage. So we'll see how we go in the start of the season. Well, all I can say is I, I hope that you're able to make the top five your goal or your objective that you've got for this year. And I wish yeah. you all the best. And yeah. uh, may you have limited injuries because yeah, I know that's definitely. a problem that's yeah, been in the past. Yeah, well, and we've got the numbers out there this year. I, I think, you know, even on the weekend we had three, four players out of our first team. And um, the players that are coming in are stepping up. Whereas before it seemed to be a big gap, there wasn't the depth there and this year I'm really happy with the way the guys have trained and they're playing a system that I want them to play and uh, they're familiar with that and they're doing it when they come on so I, I can't ask for anything more. What is promising <coughs> for your club is that the juniors are booming and growing in, in numbers and of course with all the housing that there is there that's a fantastic for the club to be able to grow, to look down three years track, five year track and see, you know, be able to build up your seniors yeah, that and way. And we, we want to give the juniors somewhere to go to. Mm -hmm. You know, if they want to taste success in the past, they've got to the stage where they're getting under 15s, under 17s, they go to another club. Um, and and, and, and t rightly so to a certain extent, but now hopefully we'll give them something to, to look forward to. So. Fantastic. Now, uh, Alex, with your side, uh, some very good names here. And as I said, uh, a lot of the Raiders guys, uh, you've got... George Calgarius, uh, Danny Reynolds, Danny v uh, Vdarkovic and then Adam Mehicic, for, all from Raiders. Um, experienced players, great for the side. Then you've got Hugh Cardle who's had some absolute brilliant games as a keeper, absolute brilliant. Uh, Zotti and Brad Weaver, I mean uh, you can just keep naming it. And then you've got some really young players like uh, George, I don't know his last name, he was playing George at... George Vlasis. Uh, Vlasis, is yeah. it? Absolute brilliance. Yeah, look, he's, he's uh, George is 16, turning 17. Yeah. These, these kids are a few years away. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, look, we've, we've, we've picked up some boys. It was very hard. We started from, uh, from zero players. Um, we filled up our three squads, did a lot of work to do that. I mean, two, two players that not many people would know that oh, I think we hopefully will have good years. One is Miroslav Arkovic. Yes. Uh, Miroslav's come over from Serbia. Uh, he's 29. Um, he speaks limited English, but uh, he's formed a great relationship with Danny, who's Croatian, so we've got a bit of a, a Balkan connection mm -hmm. up front. Uh, Giuseppe Zotti's having a great season so far, even though we haven't officially started. And a young lad that we uh, didn't play last year, um, Paul Kakavis. Uh, Paul's come through our juniors. Um, he's an amazing kid, and... Uh, um, if he sticks to it, uh, a lot of people will hear this kid's name. He's a great player. Well, looking very promising, as I said, from what I've seen. Let's have a look at the fixtures for round one for uh, the State League. Uh, the first game's been postponed, West Adelaide Blues versus Sassy because of uh, Sassy players having uh, national duty. So that's going to be playing on Easter Monday, I understand. Well, three boys uh, from Sassy, and congratulations to those three, have, are going away um, to Singapore for mm -hmm. the Joeys. Um, uh, that's um, um, Shah, um, Joel Miller, and um, 
other lad that escapes me his name. Not Mullen, is it? No. Um, uh, Farrell. Oh, Farrell, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see so, that game. Yeah, hopefully, dependent on the cup draw, that we'll play Easter Monday. Okay, and your son plays in Sassy too, so this is the, this would be great, you know, just Fantastic. have that playing against his own uh, uh, father's team or club. Then we've got, and his old club, should I say. Um, then we've got NAB taking on Seaford uh, down at Athelstone at NAB. Yeah. Ben? Big game. game first up. I did see the list of suspensions come through, so um, I think uh, they may have a player or two out in that game. Um, we still probably won't be at full strength um, for that game either, but um, not making excuses. Mm. I think um, it'll be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Mm, I am too. Then we've got Western District Toros up against Salisbury at, Sals at uh, sorry, Pennington. Northern Demons are at home to Gawler and Playford Patriots are at home to Port Pirie City. So it sounds a very exciting round one for the State League and we look forward to seeing that one. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to you now Alex because uh, you're going to leave us. Um, I do thank you very much for giving up your time for coming in right. tonight Th and for being on our first show. Th thank you and I wish you luck for the rest of the year and to you too Ben. See you during the season. We will see each other <laughs> yeah. during the season. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's all right. I'll keep you calm. He's in the hot seat. You're no, in the cool seat. That's it. Uh, look, I wish you all the best uh, with your inaugural season. May it be a very successful one. May you meet your objectives that you set out for the club to meet. And uh, I, I, we hope to catch up with either some someone from your club uh, later on in the season to see how you're going and how you're travelling. So thank you again. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We're going to have a short break and we're going to come back with uh, Yuri Dmistransky talking about the International Ukrainian Football Tournament. Stick with us. Here we go. Bianco Building Supplies have been providing quality goods and specialised services to the building industry since 1977. 